Hey everyone, I'm Natalia and welcome back to my channel. Uh, guys, I just wanted to show you this cool picture that I have. There's nothing suspicious behind it, don't worry about it. This picture is actually my favorite. It came from some guy who makes art. I don't know his name. Um, my dad found him and I absolutely love this one. This is Spider-Man. I'll show you um, the other ones that we have here. It, this is, also I'm showing you guys this because it's probably gonna be my background very soon. Here is another one. This is Wolverine, guys. You know, we gotta get Wolverine. It's really cool. You can zoom in and see how nice they look. They look absolutely splendid. This is my dad's favorite one. We have Iron Man and Iron Man looks absolutely awesome he's awesome looking he's great but there's nothing suspicious by me here so don't worry about it for today's video um i want to do something a little bit different so as you guys know i am a pescatarian uh most of the time and <laughs> i don't get meat from any fast food places i always try to substitute it I don't order any meats in fast food places. I only do substitution things or, you know, Taco Bell with their freaking potatoes that they took away. I figured this place would be more interesting because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to substitute anything here. Um, of course you can ask them and they can figure it out, but I feel like no one really knows how and they don't really know what tastes good. So I decided to show you guys what I substitute when I go to... <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> As we all know, Chick-fil-A doesn't have a good rep and I'm not gonna defend them on their rep because I don't believe in their rep either. Because obviously I made a video about myself doing wonderful things, being free and stuff like that. So we don't sponsor them, period. But I have to say, I still like their food, unfortunately. <laughs> Everybody knows Chick-fil-A is mainly chicken. Like you get chicken things, chicken this, chicken that, chicken, 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 chicken. I don't eat the chicken there, obviously. Somebody like me order from Chick-fil-A and still get away with it and be satisfied with it than just getting mac and cheese or their, their fries. Well, folks, today we're gonna fly now. So let me just put this aside. I have it all already sitting here. I eat Polynesian. I don't eat Chick-fil-A sauce, I eat Polynesian sauce. Don't at me, don't come for me. I don't care what you say, I like Polynesian. You're gross. <laughs> I have a milkshake here that I get once in a while. Um, milk is not good for me either, but I do it once in a while because I like milkshakes. <laughs> this is the cookies and cream milkshake, so that's always good, you know. Mm. I have fries here, usually I get small fries, but they kind of messed up our order today, so. Medium fries it is. Mac and cheese here. And I also have, this is gonna be a big kicker for you guys. I have, it's prepared for you, red flag. <laughs> it's called red flag because in their system they can't do it until they, unless they red flag it or something like that. I've had an issue a couple times with this and they have to red flag it. So basically, this box is not a chicken sandwich, obviously. This contains lettuce, tomato, pickles, and a bun. <laughs> so it's empty, there's some chicken. You guys can see it, all it is is a bun and lettuce and tomato and there's pickles underneath it. So guys, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna concoct our own sandwich for Chick-fil-A. This is what I recommend 10 out of 10. I do this every time I eat Chick-fil-A now. I did it one time for like a whim thing, just to see how it would actually taste and it actually came out better than I thought it was. So, Let's get started. Very simple, very simple. I Every time I go there, which I was gonna record when I went to went there to actually pick it up, but I didn't have my camera and my phone is not enough storage, so I couldn't record it. But when I go there, I order small mac and cheese, small fries, unless obviously you guys can get better portions if you want. Um, but I also order, and I let them know ahead of time, you guys ready for this? And they're like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I want bun, like a chicken sandwich, but without chicken. And they're like, what? So I'm like, I want a bun with lettuce, tomato, and pickles. And they look at me like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, just, just, I'm like, I don't eat chicken, so I want the sandwich. And they're like, okay. So they figure it out in the system, whatever, and they bring it up that way. I think it's like not even a lot to do this. It's actually cheaper to like do it with this, I think, than getting the chicken sandwich in general. But so I asked them, can I have lettuce, tomato, pickles? And then I asked for a multi-grain bun this time. Usually I ask for like a regular bun. You can do whatever you want but I make sure everything's all 
on here properly because sometimes it's all over the place and they don't know how to put a sandwich together, don't even know why. But what we start with first, I'll kind of like turn it around for you guys a little bit. We start off with the potatoes. We put it on there. I usually go for the big ones, of course, that way I don't have to have a bunch falling out of my mouth. And I always put like a big amount, like I said, because I don't want it to crumble. I don't want it to fall out of my mouth, stuff like that. I usually put like three. I never put a lot. I mean, obviously, if you guys want more sustenance in your thing, you know, you can put more fries, but usually I don't really because it's a lot in general anyway, excuse you. Here we have the mac and cheese. Next goes mac and cheese. Oh God, the mac and cheese gets me. Can I have some? <laughs> Let me just taste this first one. Can I taste it? I don't know if you care for real. <laughs> Can I brought you some good sauce too? I don't want that crap sauce. <laughs> I only like all of you. <laughs> the mac and cheese is the, ooh. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. Very good. <laughs> The burnt part of the mac and cheese is always the best mac and cheese. Get as much mac and cheese as you feel necessary to be on top of your sandwich. And this is what I do. All of it. All of it. You're gonna fit. I need to go in all out later. Mm -hmm. I said, watch yourself. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes, we have disgusting, nasty ass, tastes like meat sauce. I'm putting that shit down. I'm getting a nice, beautiful Polynesian sauce. Open up just the slightest bit of corner, so there's probably gonna be like a very small bowel. <laughs> you can't see it. I have this open, but you can't see it. So we're gonna do what we do best. I'm gonna drizzle this. We're gonna mmm it on here. So you ready for this? Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look. Oh oh god, that's not big enough. That's what she said. Oh, that was a nice drip. Ooh, we got that drip on them. Now, we have the famous part of putting the bun on top of the sandwich. I don't know who does that, who just like places it on there. I gotta smush that shit. <laughs> Before I taste this and everything, I'm gonna say, I would love for Chick-fil-A to sponsor me, honestly. <laughs> but I go against their rights and rules and all that stuff. So I'm pretty sure they won't sponsor me, but I'm just saying if you decided to sponsor me and you, or if you guys take my idea, there's gonna be a big ass issue. <laughs> if you decide to sponsor me, that's different. But if you don't and you take my idea, we're gonna box. Mm, look at that, look at that. Ooh, it's dripping. That means it's juicy. All right, here's the bites. You have to make sure you get, let me just make sure I got some mac and cheese there. All right, I got some mac and cheese, lettuce, tomato, I see it all. Ready for this, guys? I'm ready. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. Now, of course, if you want to go back and add more sauce or add more mac and cheese, you do what you gotta do, boo. I might have to put some more sauce on here because it's a little dry because we, we drove here. It was a little ways to come back home. Y'all don't even know. I didn't eat all day too. <laughs> this is this idea was literally made. Might. <laughs> might, might. <laughs> this this sandwich was actually made because I was super, super, super hungry one day. I hadn't eaten, it was late. And I was like, I really want a sandwich. But I can't order the chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. And I was conflicted because I can't order the chicken sandwich because chicken will make me sick. Or do I just not have chicken sandwich and just eat the fries and mac and cheese like I always did. And I was like, you know what? There has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. So I decided why not concoct everything and put it together? Because potatoes for vegetarians and pescatarians and vegans and stuff like that, it's actually a really good source for you to like substitute things with like a lot of uh, vegetarian like meats and stuff. Sometimes it can be made with potatoes um, and obviously it's a starch so it doesn't like affect you. Like it's, it's good for you no matter what. So I was like, if I use potatoes in a sandwich, I'm like, that can be enough sustenance for me. Cause I'm always like, I need more sustenance in a sandwich because I can't have things that everybody else can have. I can't have the beef. I can't have the pork. I have, can't have the chicken. I can't have the turkey. So I'm like, I need something else. So I decided on putting potatoes in the sandwich and 
I have to say, I think this is the best idea I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> a 10 out of 10 recommend. The pickles and the items on here, like the lettuce, the tomato and all that stuff, they're not soggy, they're not disgusting. Cause you know how like when it's heated up with like the meat and stuff like that, like it gets really soggy and it's like kind of weirdly flaky, stuff like that. You don't have the issue because obviously there's no meat in it. <laughs> so all of the vegan slash vegetarian slash pescatarians, if you guys want to try this, I do recommend it, obviously. Like I said, you can modify this any way you want with putting more mac and cheese, more potatoes, obviously eat it warm. Having a, different scent, having a different bread, having different things inside of it than uh, lettuce, tomato, pickles. But even for people who don't, like who do eat meat, I think it's a good idea in general. It just tastes good. Like it tastes, I guess, healthier, even though it is still processed foods. And this is made in, I believe, peanut oil or something like that. Like it's still fried. I'm gonna drip on that. Mmm, that drip. Oh yeah. That's it for today's video. I mean, I just wanted to inform you on this and give you more options and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, go down below, spread some love in the comments. Let me know what you could think. Uh, write down the his subscribe and turn on post notifications because I post every single big Fridays and I'm sure you don't miss at this point because I think I'm pretty interesting. Look, I just made a fucking sandwich out of Chick-fil-A stuff off the chicken. I went snowboarding last week. Like what? <laughs> See you guys later. And hopefully you guys try it too. So bye. Say bye. Peace. <laughs> mm -hmm.